How's it going? My name is Randall Kalama. I um, just want to share with you my story about Chinatown. And uh, what really prompted it was the violence that, that kind of came up in the news about a few months ago with the shootings on um, Hawaii and River Street. I just shot an email out to the men of our church. Uh, and I don't know every single guy, so I just shot it out to a few guys. Basically just inviting them to come and, and join me. And, and I got a few responses from some guys and they just really pushed me to say, hey, set a date and a time and we'll join you. Uh, we had about 12 to 15 guys, and I was kind of surprised, and that was good. Okay, this is the corner of River Street and Kauai Street where the shooting occurred, and the place where I wanted to come and pray, uh, which kind of prompted this whole thing. Um, so Greg, Bernie, and I just stood here, and we just prayed for this corner, prayed for all of Chinatown, prayed against the violence. And when we were done, we saw a girl and two guys sitting across the street on the wall by River Street. Um, the Holy Spirit just prompted me to go and talk to them. She asked why we were out here and I told her we just wanted to come and pray for Chinatown because of the violence and stuff and uh, especially because of the shooting that happened across the street and she said, oh, that was my husband that was shot. Uh, so that was, I know the Lord brought me there for that reason. So I got to talk to her for a little bit and just ended up praying with her and um, uh, just encouraged her. Um, she said she had been part of New Hope before and she hasn't been to church in a while so I just encouraged her to get back into church. And we actually went into this, this shop right here to get something to drink. And when we came out, there were two gentlemen sitting on the, on the ledge right there. One guy was just, you know, he, had, he I forget his name, but um, he said he had schizophrenia. And, and uh, Greg asked if he wanted to get prayed for for healing. And, and he said yes. And so we prayed for him. And then the other guy Bernie was talking to was this guy Ron. And, and he was uh, uh, said he was agnostic. So we just. He had questions about the Bible and about you know the Crusades and all kind of you know out there stuff, and we just talked to him and and uh, basically the message was there's a God that loves you, He sent His Son Jesus to die for you, and He wants to know you, and that's all we, you know. I didn't start quoting scripture at him or anything, or, and he even said at the end of the, the thing when we said we have to go, he said I'm looking forward to the next conversation. You know? So it was like he wanted us to come back because he had more questions or just wanted someone to talk to. Him. So that was really neat. You know, all we did was pray with people and talk to people. That, that's all we did. There wasn't anything, there was no set program. We didn't, you know, I bought dinner for that one guy that we prayed for, for schizophrenia, but that, I mean, that was it. And I, and I think that's really what the Lord was calling me to do, just do something, you know, just go out there. I mean, you may not have a, a game plan, you may not have the backing of a hundred guys, but just go out there and, and, and do what I'm telling you to do. And for me, it was just pray for Chinatown. Hi, my name is Greg Saggers. Uh, I'm a PE teacher at an elementary school on a base. You know, it's a really big school. The population is huge. There's a lot more serious problems at the school as far as the relationship with teachers and the administration. And also, um, the kids being kind of, I guess, harder to teach than an average elementary school, I would say. And um, I actually visited the camps before I started that job and kind of got a feel of what was going on. And I saw some of those kids kind of acting out, but still I, I kind of saw a need and hearing the messages got kind of inspired and thought, you know, let's take a shot at, you know, trying to gather Christians there and us praying for it and encouraging each other um, instead of complaining about our job. So I went around and, and talked to people and I, I actually got hooked up with the right people and they said, oh great, they were kind of like waiting for somebody to, you know, kind of head it up. And so it all started falling into place. Um, we, I just basically had to show up. No matter if I was gonna be the only one, and sometimes I was, it felt kind of lonely. But every time, God met me there. No, no, it's nice just to be able to pray with people that you work with. It makes a big difference. Whether things change or not, but they have been changing, getting better. I've seen some specific prayers answered for students, specifically when I was waiting to get some paperwork back from parents and I was having trouble getting it and the very next day it came back after a prayer request. The part about you know praying with other people you feel like you're more of a team effort instead of a lone ranger. I've seen changes in some of my kids um, behavior wise, uh, families turning around which were very negative towards maybe testing them for um, services and they've come around and I, I've seen um, basically 
financial gains at Mokapu that we've never had before. I've seen a great improvement in our campus just by having the influence of a prayer group on our campus and our community so benefits and is so blessed by the work that our prayer group gives. So my principal went from being really apprehensive and cautious about us having prayer there at the school um, to in meetings in front of everyone, in faculty meetings and even at um, some public forums that we have when she introduces us that she'll mention the prayer group and she'll mention, mention like we passed AYP which is our testing and she'll contribute the change in our school and the positiveness to our prayer group. I feel that when we have our prayer group that supports us, that it lifts us and it provides us with that strength that we need to do our job, our very best job every single day.